Despite recent events to the contrary, former South African President Jacob Zuma reaffirmed his loyalty to the African National Congress, ANC, in a controversial speech at a news conference in Johannesburg today. Zuma, who is now the president of the MK Liberation Party, informed reporters that he is still an ANC member, thus disputing his expulsion from the party. Before we continue, please kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell so as to get all our updates. Zuma resolutely said, I am still a member of the ANC, highlighting his lifelong membership in the party and making an effort to clarify his dual involvement in both political organizations. Zuma's statements were quickly refuted by ANC Secretary General Faikal Mbalila, who reiterated that Zuma is no longer associated with the ANC. In a straightforward reply, Mbalila underlined that Zuma's expulsion is still in force, so cutting off any formal connections the former president could have with the party. Mr. Zuma is not an ANC member. Mbalila emphasized the ANC's position on the matter by claiming he was expelled and no longer holds any association with the organization. Zuma and the ANC leadership's disagreement has spurred fresh debate about party loyalty, the impact of prior leaders, and how South African politics are changing. Zuma's decision to become president of the MK Liberation Party already indicated a break from his ANC heritage, but his insistence on keeping ANC links just makes matters more complicated. The conversation reveals persistent conflicts among South African political groups, with Zuma's significant position in the MK Liberation Party signifying a new force against the established ANC leadership. Political experts and observers predict that this most recent conflict might spark further discussion about the nature of party loyalty and membership among South Africa's political elite. Once more, former President Jacob Zuma said in a news conference today that he is still a member of the African National Congress, ANC, even though he is the president of the recently formed MK Party. His comments coincide with escalating hostilities between the ANC and the MK Party, as discussions over Zuma's political loyalty have been triggered by his leadership of the latter. Speaking to reporters, Zuma emphasized that his historic ties to the ANC are not diminished by his chairmanship of the MK Party. He said, I have devoted my life to the ANC. I have it left, and I still support the goal and basic principles of the ANC. My dedication to our cause and people is shown by my participation in the MK party. ANC Secretary General Faikal Mbalila quickly responded to Zuma's remarks by vehemently disputing his assertion of ongoing membership. Jacob Zuma was kicked out of the ANC and is not regarded as a member of our organization, Mbalila said in a statement after Zuma's comments. He cannot claim dual membership, but he is free to choose to be associated with the MK party. The divide between the ANC and the MK party has been brought to light by this public conversation, since Zuma's followers see the MK party as an essential alternative voice for people who feel excluded from the ANC. Since leaving, Zuma has voiced his displeasure with the direction of the ANC, especially under President Cyril Ramaphosa's leadership, which he has previously criticized for not being committed to the ANC's core values. However, Mbalila insisted that the ANC has advanced and that Zuma's affiliation with the MK party is a glaring divergence from the ANC's goals. Mbalila said, We honor his past, but the ANC cannot permit itself to be linked to a rival political organization. Zuma's prolonged affiliation with the ANC may be a calculated attempt to maintain influence among his devoted followers inside the party, according to political commentators. However, his position can also appeal to those who are fed up with the ANC's present leadership, which might lead to further divides. Despite being a relatively young political force, the MK party has made significant progress by drawing well-known ANC stalwarts and former officials who share Zuma's worries. Zuma's claims of dual allegiance may make matters more complicated politically as both parties prepare for the next elections. Future interactions between the two groups are still possible since the ANC has not yet provided a formal reaction to Mbalila's comments.